Greetings, everyone. I'm Ambe Singh, and today I'm with my co-speaker, Mayus, for the episode 14 of the Power Pages Quick Tip series. In this episode, we are going to touch very sensitive topic, which is security. We will explore authentication and the identity providers in the Power Pages. Please note that the changes to your site authentication setting might take a few minutes to be reflected on the site. To see the changes immediately, restart the site from the admin center. User must authenticate when they visit in a core customization in any of the Power Pages site. If you choose to enforce authentication, user do through an identity provider. Power Pages come with several OAuth 2.0 identity providers built in, which means that the user can authenticate on your site with a Microsoft, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, or Twitter accounts. Your website can have only one instance of an OAuth 2.0 identity provider at a time. You can also add the XAML 2.0, OpenID Connect, and the WS Federation identity providers if you need them. In Power Pages, you have uh, several identity providers available for the user authentication. You can categorize them into the built-in O auth 2.0 providers or additionally identity providers. Let's take a briefly about each one in the next slide. OAuth 2.0 provides a service that allows the users to authenticate and authorize access to their accounts or resources using the OAuth 2.0 protocol these providers play a crucial role in enabling secure and the seamless authentication for your application and website. Power Pages support Microsoft, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, Twitter, which is now X, but in all of the documentation, you will see the Twitter yet as an identity providers. In the Power Pages, we have a three set of additional IDPs. XAML 2.0, which is an identity providers are services that conform to the XAML 2.0 specification. XAML can be used for a single sign-on like SSO authentication to allow employees to easily access cloud application without having to maintain multiple credentials. OpenID Connect, which introduced the concept of an ID token. An ID token is a security token that allow a client to verify the identity of a user it also gets the basic profile information about the user known as the claim. The third one is the WS Federation. Web Service Federation is an identity federation specification developed collaboratively by several companies, including PEA System, PMC Software, CA Inclusive, IBM, Microsoft, Novell, HP Enterprise, and VeriSign. WS Federation enable federated single sign-on from the identity provider to the service providers. In this process, users authentication at the identity provider and service providers use the identity information asserted by the identity providers. Let's talk about few general authentication settings. Firstly, external login. External authentication is provided by the ASP.NET Identity API. Third-party identity provides handle account credential and the password management. If the toggle is on, then you can sign up for the access. Users select an external identity to register within the website. After it register, an external identity has an access to the same feature as a local account does. Second turn off. So user can't register or sign in with an external account. Then we have a toggle for the open registration, which control the sign up or a new user account registration form for creating a local user. If it is on the sign up form that allow any anonymous users to visit the website and create a user account. If it is off, then the sign up form is disabled and hidden. The third option here or the third toggle here is for the required unique email. It is specified whether users need to provide an unique email address when they sign up. If the toggle is on, a sign up attempt might fail if the user provide an email address that already exists in a contract record. If it is off, a new user can sign up with a duplicate email address. You can't change the configuration of the local sign-in 
and the Microsoft Entra provides here. Also, once you configure the identity providers, you have four options here. You can add it, the configuration, you can disable it, you can delete it, or you can set up any configured identity providers as the default one. When an identity provider is set to the default, user who sign in to the website are not redirect to the sign-in page. Instead, they sign in using the selected providers. Myers, do you want to add some tips around here? Um, in, in general, just a tip with, so every of these uh, identity providers that you listed for the standard ones mm -hmm. is pretty quickly set up. But um, as soon as you start to fiddle with the other, it's, you need to plan some time in, in your project. Uh, it can be really finicky. You mentioned, for example, mm -hmm. the SAML one as, okay, you have a single sign on for your employees and they are already signed on on other applications. So they will be able to access the power page. Yeah. It's not that easy because um, the power pages is pretty particular about how the SAML needs to be configured. So the SAML endpoint might need customization um, on your side for it to work. So just plan some time for that. Do that in the beginning of the project. Then you have this big um, stone of security out of the way uh, mm -hmm. that that should be working. Yeah, that's a great tip and the great learning. Thanks for the sharing. The another part is when you delete an identity providers, only its configuration is deleted. The provider is still available for the use in the future with a new configuration. For an example, if you delete the LinkedIn identity provider, your LinkedIn app and the app configuration remain in track. Now, I would like to move to the browser for the live demonstration that where you will find this all of the options we discussed. So let me just move to the browser. And if you are on the Power Pages Designer, you will see a brand new security plate has been added to the left navigation. Just click it there and you have a tons of option available there. We will cover this option in a separate episode, but right now just focus in the manage group. There is an identity providers menu. If you click it there, you will see all of the identity provider which has been available for you right now. What you can do, you can start probably with the authentication setting. You can enable the toggle or disable the toggle here. And you can already decide that you need an external login. You want your site to open for the registration or you want to maintain the unique email address in your system. Apart from that, if you go for the new provider, you will see that there is Azure Active Directory B2C available, but then you have a Facebook, LinkedIn, Microsoft, Twitter, and the others. If you notice, you won't find the Google here right now because Google is already configured. I will show you there. If you go to the others, then you in the protocol, you will see OpenID Connect, XAML 2.0, and the WS Federation. So this all the options you will get it while configuring the identity provider. For the separate episode, we will show how to configure the Google or the other identity providers. But for now, if I if I go to the another page, another designer, security tab, and then to the identity provider. Here, if you go for the new providers, because here, if you noticed, I did not have the Google configured here. Then in the drop down, you should be able to see the Google there. So then you can have a Google. You can go to the next, provide the client ID, client secret. If you want to make some additional setting, you can make this, but then everything done here. So there is a very important thing. If I would mention this, that if you delete and recreate your Power Pages site, user might receive the error. Be sure to the configure your identity provider correctly after you recre recreate your site. Also, if you change the custom domain, you have to reconfigure the IDPs again because you have a redirect URL inside. So that needs to be regenerated. Please stay tuned to this channel by subscribing and pressing the bell icon. Share the videos with your friends and the colleagues who are having the same skill sets like you or want to deep dive in the power pages. We will be coming up with more interesting tips, knowledge sharing, and the lesson learning around the power pages 
Till that, have a nice time and happy learning. Thank you.